On this week's Waste of the Week, auditors at OpenTheBooks.com are looking into the federal workforce where an overwhelming number of employees are still working from home. So they're asking who's working, where are they, and most importantly, what are they doing? After all, you're paying for it. CEO and founder of OpenTheBooks.com, Adam Angievsky, joining us this morning. Happy Friday to you. Good morning to you, Adam. Washington, D.C. has the highest work from home rate in the country, and the president just proposed the largest pay hike for federal agencies since 1980. So tell us about the pay, the perks, the pension. How much is this costing American taxpayers? Well, it costs the American taxpayers, the federal payroll, just in the alphabet soup of federal agencies and the federal executive agencies, it costs $72 million a minute a half billion dollars a day when you add in the cost of benefits the payroll on an annual basis jan costs about 200 billion dollars a year president biden wants to put the largest pay increase for federal workers at 5.2 percent since 1980 and we estimate that that pay increase alone will add at taxpayer cost 10 billion dollars so then what's happening with all those empty cubicles you know some folks refuse to go back to the office and quite frankly if they're getting the work done from home why not just get rid of all the expensive office space and real estate and return the money to taxpayers well look the federal real estate portfolio needs to be managed a heck of a lot better to save taxpayer money but the work's not being done. The big headlines last year, for instance, over at the Internal Revenue Service, the IRS, is that they destroyed 30 million taxpayer returns. When our organization at OpenTheBooks.com simply wanted to find out uh, information on third-party royalties over at the National Institutes of Health, we had to sue for it because they were behind on five on 650 Freedom of Information Act requests. And this is due in large part because workers aren't showing up at the office. And Jan, they've got cushy jobs. We found in the 2022 federal payroll that the average pay for a federal bureaucrat in 109 out of the 125 uh, executive agencies is now six figures, $100,000 a year. But that's not all of it. It comes with 44 days, nearly nine weeks of PTO. That's paid time off where you're paid to stay home. To sip martinis or put your feet up on a beach <laughs> it comes with a with performance bonuses one million federal workers receive 1.5 billion dollars worth of bonuses and jan most people don't feel government runs that well yeah no wonder so many people want to work for the federal government these days right uh you guys also found out in 2021 congress allocated 570 million dollars for federal workers to go on paid leave if their children had not gone back to in-person schooling. Tell us more about this and what the state of that relief fund is today. Well, this is just another example of why they don't call it club fed for nothing. So at the, at the, as the pandemic was waning, Congress uh, established a $570 million fund at the Treasury and this was to provide federal workers if their kids were not yet back to school with up to $21,000 a piece over the course of 15 weeks. And of course, we just got the statistics. There were federal workers that were paid for 14 million hours that they didn't work. So here's the real question. Did anyone miss them? But I can tell you a million of those hours were over at Veterans Affairs and sick veterans who need care, they missed that million hours. That's outrageous. You guys also found something I found very interesting here. The administration has redacted the names of more than 350,000 rank and file workers from the 2022 fiscal year payroll. So to put this in perspective, the Obama administration just redacted 2,300 names. Why? Why did the administration want this hidden? They've redefined the the uh, information payroll release uh, policies, and now rather than redacting a little over 2,000 names, they're redacting 350,000. And Jan, look, um, you know we estimate that's 35 billion dollars hidden in the swamp. We don't know who received how much money. Those bonuses I talked about earlier, 99% of federal workers are rated fully successful. That's actually impossible. And, and so we don't know who's receiving these big salaries. We don't know who's receiving the bonuses. And, and that's a real problem with transparency. And this week, Jan, is Sunshine Week across America. The people's right to know, and we're being, we're being held in the dark here. Yeah, some information has to be withheld. If you're talking about CIA, National Security Administration, maybe the Pentagon, but the rest should be public information. This is taxpayer dollars after all, right? 
Yeah, there's a, you know, we're not talking about spies or, or in, intelligence officers. There's a necessary security shield there for those employees and for the for the United States government. We're talking about rank and file federal employees in the alphabet soup of agencies like the IRS, HHS, Social Security Administration, the EPA, and they're being withheld from public scrutiny. And, and uh, look, we're going back into court. We're filing an appeal. If we don't get success on our appeal with the Office of Personal Management, we're going to sue the Biden administration for the information. All right, looking forward to your investigation. Founder of OpenTheBooks.com, Adam Njewski, thanks for joining us. Have a great weekend. Thank you, Jim.